Okay, Fran. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is this baby? This is a 1973 Manta Mirage. Where was it made? Made in California. They made them from 1970 to 1983. They were still building these cars in 83? Yes. Wow. Yep. So who, who built it? Who built the Manta Mirage? Well, it was the Lovitz or uh, fiberglass people. Okay. And whenever they smashed up a McLaren race car, they would fix the car. Oh. And so they decided, well, if they made the car wider, they can make it street legal. So there they did. In 1970, they started producing these. So it, do, it does have kind of a McLaren look to it, doesn't it? Yes. So like the, the windshield and everything, is that just, is that all Manta? Mirage? Yes, it is. Uh, it, windshield is a Manta only uh, or, or McLaren. You don't want to be breaking one of those, probably. No, 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 <laughs> no. definitely not. Well, she's so low and so wide. Yeah, it made for uh, high-speed cornering. Wow, what an insane-looking car. Thank you. Is it, is it <laughs> <laughs> and it, I'm assuming it's all fiberglass? Yes, it is, uh, all fiberglass body. And it's, I mean, that's, this can't be more than 40 inches off the ground. I mean, 39, to be exact. <laughs> 39. One meter. <laughs> wow. Does it hold the road pretty well? Oh, yes, yes. The radiator's up front, Yeah. which sucks the air from underneath the ground. So it pulls the car to the ground, puts the air on top of the car, and pushes the car to the ground. It's gotta be gull wing. Right? Yes, Can it I is. open it up? Yo, go for it. Like, just yep. grab it? Just, yeah. Man, I mean, you're, yep. you better like who you're riding with. Oh, yeah, gotta be friendly, can't be shy. <laughs> what a, what a array of gauges, too. Yeah. I mean, something for everything, right? Yeah, uh, heat temperature, oil temperature, uh, tax, speedometer. Got all sorts of switches over there. Yeah, yeah, it's. The different cooling gauges and tiny little steering wheel. Is she squirrely or? Oh, it holds the road really good. Really? Yeah, yeah. Now, now how do I close this? this well, is... a little trick to it. There's okay. the lever right here. And then she goes. And down she goes. Yeah. Right now, I'm assuming the engine's back here. Yes, it is. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay, a 327, wow. stroked out to a 402, pushing about 450 horse. Wow. We're in a car that weighs? About uh, 1,100 kilos with me in it. So 23, 2400 pounds, yes. 2500 pounds, something yeah. like Well, I love the headers there. It's kind of a bundle of snakes there. Oh, yeah, yeah. The thought behind them is just incredible. Well, again, the whole car. Yeah, well, and is that a Corvair transaxle? Yes, it is. Wow. And how about the frame? I mean... It's Manta frame. It's uh, it's, its own frame. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's, a, it's a, one of those trick kits for a Volkswagen. Yeah, but yeah. that's no Volkswagen. No, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> it's a... You know, it sounds like metal, but she's all glass, huh? Yeah, it's all glass. 400 and some odd horse, 2,500 pounds or so. Yeah, that works out to roughly for every five pounds of car, there's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and, and is it, I mean, it draws a crowd everywhere it goes? Yes, it does. Uh, whenever I go into a department store, I can walk in out. I don't lose the car, I just look for the crowd. There it is. Well, it's, I, I gotta tell you, it's the first one I've ever seen. It's, uh, it's, it's very cool, man. Oh, uh, thank you. Thanks for bringing it out, Fran.